let's learn how to make letter mask graphics just like this one using Kittle. All right, so in Kittle, over here in the elements panel, all we have to do is go down a little ways and we have an individual category here called letter masks and you can see all of the letters inside this group. We have two different styles right now. We have a sans serif and we have a nice slab serif. Now you can also go up here and just type in the letter that you're looking for and it will come up. You can see the two styles right there. So there's one right there. Boom. There's the other one. All you have to do is click on it or you can click and drag it onto the artboard and you can see they're already perfectly the same size, which is going to be nice for you because then you don't have to start selecting and sizing all individually. So let's go ahead with this one right here and we're going to recreate the graphic you saw at the beginning, but using the sans serif style. So now I have F, L, and Y, and as you saw, I clicked it in and they're all the same exact size. So I would definitely recommend going ahead and creating your word with these letter masks, which we're gonna be adding a lot more, by the way. So just be prepared for that. You're gonna have a lot of capability with different letter masks. So now I've selected all of these. Boom, I've sized them up just like that because I selected all of them together. And now I'm ready to start putting my mask in there. So I'm gonna type in this Delph style, which I absolutely love. It's very dreamy. It's kind of very like, blue fine china style which is awesome and now you can see boom i'm just dragging an illustration over from the left and it's adhering to the mask perfectly it's already ready boom all i have to do is drag this or i can click it in like that and then once it's clicked in i can drag it into the l all i have to do is just position it right over and you saw it just snaps perfectly into the mask now let's find one more let's go ahead and put this in here and boom now all of them are there now if you don't like that one you can select and right click and then click uh, basically release the mask from it and now it's gone so if you didn't like that one of course you can uh, release it and do something else i can draw drag in a different one uh, for example or if i want this one on top the the always the the newest thing you're dragging is going to affect okay so you can always just drag something on top now you can also double click in to readjust the photo so i've double clicked in and now I can scale up or scale down this butterfly illustration inside the Y. So I'm going to do that just a little bit for all of these different ones. And now I can go over here and I can change the color of the mask. By default, it's this light gray. But I want to find a nice light blue that I think will work with this. And so, boom, as soon as I do that, now you can see because I'm working with perfect transparent images, then it's correct. Now, let me show you a different idea. So as you can see here, I have the word Paris and I've put photos of Paris inside each letter. So you can do this with images, of course, instead of just illustrations, which you can really do it with anything you can drag into a mask. Now, what I'm going to do is layer masks on top of each other for a cool effect. So I've got these grouped together. And what I want to do is copy this group, which you can do with Command C or Control C and V. So now I've got two groups. I've ungrouped this first one. So now you can see here, all of them are individual. And what I'm going to do is go over into the elements and I've just typed in Paris. And what I want to do is create this skyline across the P-A-R-I-S. And then I want it to kind of come through on top of the images in the back. So now remember, just because the images have disappeared on us doesn't mean they're not there. I've just dragged in new illustrations on top of the top mask. So let me just adjust and size this out. And then when I change, turn off the color of P-A-R-I-S, now the background is originally coming through the first set of letters. And then now you can see my new set of letters with the silhouette on top. And then I can come here and I can start changing the silhouette to work. So you can do this as many times as you want to stack masks on top of each other. And here it is a little bit bigger for you to see all easily done in Kittle. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.